Let's look at new asset accounting in SAP Simple Finance. New asset accounting, also known as asset accounting and in brackets new. It's a new functionality which is now available with asset accounting to manage parallel valuations. So the old version is now called classic asset accounting and the new version is called asset accounting new or new asset accounting. This is very much similar to how classic GL and new GL is named. To install new asset accounting, you must have the latest enhancement pack, which is enhancement pack 7 with ECC 6. A new GL must be active to install new asset accounting. It's also maintained at the client level. Both valuation approaches can be used with new asset accounting, which is your ledger approach as well as the accounts, the parallel accounts approach. You must use a new depreciation calculation engine with new asset accounting. Most of the systems are running the new depreciation calculation engine which was available from ECC 6.0. Let's look at some of the table changes. We saw this earlier in our presentation of overview of simple finance. Let's just go through it again. All the line item, asset line item related tables have now been removed because they will all be posted directly in the universal journal entry table which is the ACDOCA table. This also includes the asset periodic values as well as the asset value fields. And any other statistical data, plan values and all have also moved to different compatibility views. There is no change however to the asset master data table. For example, the ANLA table which is the asset master records table. Let's look at the advantages of using new asset accounting. Because everything is now been directly recorded in the universal journal entry table which is the ACTOCA table, there is permanent reconciliation between asset accounting and the general ledger. So between the sub ledger and the general ledger, there's always a permanent reconciliation. That means you don't have to do reconciliation at end of period close. And all depreciation posted includes the depreciation cost of the asset as well as the accumulated depreciation in the ACTOCA table itself. Now the asset balances and the plan values will all be done real time. So any master data changes in the asset will directly reflect the asset balances and asset plan values in real time in the asset master data itself. Let's look at some more advantages. The periodic APC postings is not required to be done because everything is going to be updated in real time. As you mentioned earlier, reconciliation postings also will not be occurring because the GL and the asset accounting will all be updated using the same ACTOCA table. Plan depreciation will automatically updated as soon as any master record changes to the asset master data. And the important thing is you don't have to do asset balance carry forward like you used to do before because automatically it will be carried forward when you do it for the general ledger. So let's look at how the postings and the documents created with new asset accounting. Now there will be at least two documents created with any postings for new asset accounting. One is the operational entry document which is posted to a technical clearing account. Now we'll discuss this in detail in the next slide. For now just remember there's one operational entry document is posted. So this will update the asset values. Then another document will be posted for the account principal document. This will also post the technical account.